If God is sovereign, how can man be held responsible? That is the question. And in order to answer that question, I want to first pose three questions prior to answering that question. And the first question is, is God sovereign? Yes, he is. We know that. Job 42, 2. I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Isaiah 46, 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will accomplish all my purposes. Yes, God is sovereign. The second question is, does God choose? And the answer is yes. We know in Matthew twenty two fourteen, for many are called, but few are chosen. Also in John fifteen sixteen, you did not choose, but I chose you. So those two questions explain exactly what the first proponent of the original question is, God being sovereign. Now, to answer the original question, how then can man be responsible? And the reason why man is held responsible and is responsible is because they love their sin. Sinners love their sin. God did not give them anything that they did not want. Sinners enjoyed being on the broad way. They loved their wickedness. John 3, 19, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Evil. Man really is wicked. Mankind really is evil. And one of the hardest tasks I've been faced with in regards to sharing the gospel to loved ones or friends is getting them to believe and comprehend what the Bible says about their own self-perceived righteousness, that it is wrong, that it is evil, that it is not pleasing to God. Men really do believe that mankind has the capacity to be good. I actually had a man tell me, that the evil people are in prison. And so that's how you can know who are, who's evil and good. If they're in prison, that means they're bad. If they're out free, they're a pretty decent person. People believe this foolishness because their own worldview is surrounded and created from the desires of their wicked heart. Jeremiah 17, 9 says, The heart is deceitfully wicked and cannot be trusted. So all these false ideologies come flow from the desires of a wicked heart based in self-righteousness. Man is responsible because man hates God and loves their sin. So even though God is sovereign, even though God chooses, even though God elects his own to faith before the foundations of the world, those who were created to be vessels of wrath will deserve their place in hell for all eternity because they, number one, they sinned. And number two, they enjoyed their sin. They loved their sin. And they hated the light. 